Well, our Lloyd Allen joins us to tell how the Bahamas Royal Bahamas Defense Force will mark a sad but historic occasion under COVID-19. The Royal Bahamas Defense Force is preparing to remember a significant but sad milestone in its history. This Sunday, the force will observe the 40th anniversary of the sinking of the HMBS Flamingo. It was back on May 10th, 1980, when the vessel was bombed by Cuban jets, killing four Marines, Fenric Sturrup, David Tucker, Edward Williams, and Austin Smith. With us to share how the Defense Force will mark the occasion is Commander Michael Simmons. Good morning, sir, and thanks for joining us on the Morning Edition. Good morning, and glad to be with you. Now, this tragic incident is definitely a sad occasion for the Defense Force. How has the Force tried to honor and remember those fallen officers? Well, the Force will continue to remember those officers as per the last 40 years. Only difference is uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are downscaling the exercise and the number of persons that are usually invited will not be invited as well. Uh, of course, observing the social distancing that the Prime Minister uh, has requested. Now, you mentioned that the forest is downscaling. Uh, what other plans are, are underway uh, during this uh, current COVID-19 restrictions? As it relates to the uh, Remembrance Day ceremony, instead of inviting the entire family uh, of the deceased football and Marines, uh, we have designated that one family, one person for family uh, is invited instead of the entire family. And as it relates to the crew, the remaining crew of the Flamingo, uh, there's one serving member, Lieutenant Commander Whitfield Neely, uh, who is still a member of the force. He will represent those fallen crew and all of those persons will lay a wreath at the memorial guarding here in Coral Harbor. Now, this coming Sunday, May 10th, walk us through the setup there at the Defense Force Base. Well, the, we start every morning in Coral Harbor uh, with uh, paying our respects to our country and to our national flag. And that ceremony is called Morning Colors. And that is the raising of the national flag and of the ensign that the Royal Army, that represents the Royal Army's French Force. The difference between to, to, to that day and the remaining days is instead of the flag being flown at full mass, the flag will then be flown, the ensign will then be flown at half mass. So the ensign will be raised to the top of the mast, and on completion of being raised to the top of the mast, instead of staying there the way it normally does, it will then be lowered to half mast to represent and to honor our fallen heroes. Now, as we continue to pay tribute to these officers, how important is this incident in your training of recruits and in passing on the historic moments of life at the Defense Force? The historic uh, uh, events of May 10th uh, is taught in our new entry training. It is also uh, reiterated in our leadership training. Uh, every recruit is introduced to, like I said, the serving member of the HMBS Domingo, Amanda Neely, and he, they have a live person-by-person person, uh, uh, account of what actually happened on that day. Uh, as you, some of you may know, the commanding officer, uh, Commander Amos Rowe, would have passed uh, uh, some time ago. And so uh, Commander Neely would be now the ranking officer as it relates to that, uh, that ship. Now, for persons like myself and other Bahamians, how can we help to pay tribute to those officers? Uh, well, the, the, the way that the Bahamas can pay tribute to those officers is remembering them on May 10th, uh, honoring them as we do, um, uh, say a, sh a, a short prayer for their families and the surviving members, and praying for the safety of the men and women that continues on the legacy of patrolling the Bahamas and securing our borders. Well, uh, as we continue to move forward, uh, we definitely look forward to this day, which is important for many. Any final words? Yes, uh, we like the Bahamas to keep us in press. Like I say, the, the guarding our nation and guarding our territories and guarding the Bahamas does not cease. We continue to patrol our waters. We continue to uh, ensure that the waters are protected. And we ask that you cover us in your prayers and keep us in your thoughts at all times. Commander Simmons, uh, we thank you so much for your time and joining us here on the Morning Edition.